guys welcome back game World's back in the house and we are continuing the walking dead season two episode four i believe so it's been pretty crazy so far we've lost a few people so i'm excited to find out where this story is going to be letting us guys so let's get this thing started damn that was a close one man you see him Yeah. Just play it cool. You do the talking. What? Why oh. me? Cause I don't want to get in a fight. You really think he chewed a little girl? Just don't make any sudden moves. And don't piss him off. And don't tell him anything. You know, on second thought, maybe I should do the talking. What should I say? I don't know. Ask him for directions. Which way is the 7-Eleven? Well, who are you? Well, who's asking? I am. Wanna help me out here? We're a little lost. Lost, huh? Uh-huh. Huh. You don't look like assholes. Are you assholes? No offense or anything, but you know how it is out here. You run into a lot of assholes. We're just people. Fair enough. You folks headed north like everyone else? Everyone else? I see at least one group a day move through here. You all look the same. It's like a great migration of the dazed and confused. Why do you care where we're going? It's sort of my business, considering I live here. You live here? Yep. Like on the bridge? You're in my backyard. I gotta say, you two look like shit. If you need food, I've got some canned stuff in that station back there. Well, that's, uh, awful nice of you. What's the catch? No catch. I've got plenty. Well, all right then. Thank you. Hey, no problem. Nice running into friendly faces out here. Like I said, I've got food and supplies back in the station. Nice. And if you want... What the fuck, man? What the hell is he doing? Dude, what are you doing? No, 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 he's, he's with us. Nick! No! Stop! Did oh it hit him? My God. Where is he? I told you not to shoot. What? Who was that guy? Why didn't you wait for a signal? We thought you were in trouble. You were waving your arms. He was going to help us. How do you know? Damn it, Nick. I told you not to shoot. How was Frickin I supposed to hear man. you? You gave me a clear shot. That shot rang out for miles. We gotta get off this bridge. Let's go. Damn it. That's when we didn't invite him, guys. Who the fuck was that back there? I don't know. Looked like he had a gun on you. That asshole drew on me. He was about to shoot. Oh, was he? I'm telling you, man, he drew first. Well, that's not what it looked like to me. Everybody calm down. What did you see, Clem? Was that guy gonna shoot? Fuck you, Luke. You've been on my case the whole week. And why do you think that is, Nick? Because you're an asshole? I'm not gonna say anything. Either way, you could have hit one of us. Yeah, but I didn't. Look, I I know Pete was close to you, Nick, but you can't... Don't fucking talk about him. You think he was with Carver? I don't know. I... No, I don't think so. But he fell over. He fell off the damn bridge? We have to keep moving. I can't. I need a minute. Fine. Luke, can I talk to you alone? Uh-oh. Seriously, dude. Somebody take a gun away from him. Hey, Clem, you got anything to eat? Beck's dying here. Alvin, I told you I'm fine. Sorry, I'm out. Wish we still had those juice boxes. Yeah, me too. That man said he had food in the station. Mind checking it out? 
Maybe we could spend the night here. A little small for us, though. You could use a little downsizing. Sure. <laughs> You're a little fatty. Thanks, Clem. Well, let the little girl do everything again. Nick, what is up with you? Is he Nick? I hope he's Nick. I had to kill my mom. <laughs> Sounds weird when I say it out loud, huh? Luke always used to push me. I never wanted to go into business with him. I remember when he sold me on it. His big plan. Some fucking plan. Case of beer in, he just said, Nick, we're burning daylight. And that was that. That's, that's Pete. After six months, we were flat broke. I didn't care. We were having fun. I wish I was like him. I wish I could just keep moving all the time. I'm just not built like that. I'm sure they're talking about me right now. Luke, he's becoming a danger to the group. <laughs> so who was that guy? I swear. It looked like he was holding you guys up. I figured he was with Carver. He could have been anybody. Right, we don't know. How do we know he wasn't with Carver anyway? I'm not if Alvin is in with front you, of me, he takes that shot. Time we didn't know. What a fucking mess. So... Maybe I am losing it. I don't know anymore. God, I'm hungry. What time is it anyway? Damn. Damn. What's wrong? I left my watch back at the cabin. It was Pete's. He gave it to me. That's all I had left of him. You know what? I'm gonna go talk to them. All right, let's look in there first. Okay, so there's one bunk. One person will stay in here, so. Fireplace. Looks like we can stay here a while. The man said he had lots of food. There's got to be something left. <clears throat> I don't see a key around here. That man probably had it. Could you use your hammer? Nice. Feels pretty good. Yes! Jackpot. There's two cans. Man, not thought we had a bed. Look at this dump. Guess he did have food. Man, fuck Nick. Nick's lost a lot of his people, that's for sure. But that doesn't give him any excuse to start shooting up strangers. Give him a break. His uncle just died. Yeah, true enough. I don't know what I'd do if I lost Beck. Okay. I'm just saying. I mean, you ever know anyone to do a thing like that? Actually, yeah. What happened? What's a her woman name? in our group. Her dad died, and Lori? then she just no. shot this other woman. Damn. Forgot her name. What you do? We left her behind. Damn. Yep. That was when we were on the Winnebago with uh, Kenny. Remember, guys? That's funny. She looks just like you. Hey, Clem. There's not a lot of food here, and Rebecca. Well, she's eating for two. You think we can keep this just between us? I hate to even say it, you know, but... And I'd never go against the group. But I've got to put Beck and the baby first. Rebecca can have it. I won't say anything. Yeah. Thanks, Clementine. Whatever. It's a shame. Nick was a good guy. He's still a good guy. 
He's just losing it. God knows we're not perfect. Hell, I'm glad you're with us, Clementine. There we go. Some a little appreciation here. Thank you. The hell is that? Walkers. We got a problem here. Yeah, we saw it. All right, we're heading up. That the dad that didn't last long. We're going up to the house, I guess. Here we are. Well, what are we waiting for? We have to be careful. Careful? We've been on the road for five days. My back is done being careful. Doesn't look like anybody's home. Damn. Nailed down tight. Well, that means it's safe. I'll check around front. I'll go with you. What we gotta do to get in? Well, it'd be good to know if anybody's actually back there. Could probably get a better view from up top. You'd have an easier time getting up there. You feel like taking a look? It'd be just like climbing a treehouse. Yeah, just a, a really tall treehouse. I had a treehouse once. That's where well, they there found you go. me. I hated it. What? Oh. Just take it slow, and I'll catch you if you fall. Probably. Got a good grip? Yeah. When I was a kid, we used to jump rooftops downtown. Now that was fun. Now that sounds stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. The trick was not to look down, though. Oh. Oh, 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 you're fine. You're fine. Just look at me, okay? You're, you're fine. Don't look down. Right, just, just slow down. Just for a second, okay? Got your grip? I know I'm fine. Just trying to help. Somebody up there? Made it. You see anything? I can see the bridge. Oh, there's light. Somebody's coming. Wait, I see something. What is it? A light. W wait, there's another. Luke. Luke. What's what's going on? What the frick is going on? I guess there are people here. Listen, everyone, just stay calm. Who are you? Are you trying to rob us? Excuse me, honey, but do I look like a fucking thief? Everyone calm down. Hey, man, you calm the fuck down. Sarah, get behind just me. Just tell us who you are. We ain't here to rob nobody. Put the gun down, fuck man. Fuck that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Please, just do what he says. Kenny? Kenny? Wait, you know this guy? I thought I he died! Oh! It brings back good memories. I'll take that as a yes. These people with you? Kenny? We can talk inside. Great. I just started dinner. Are you sure you don't mind? It's gonna storm soon. Please, oh, come in. Oh, man. This guy's from part one, guys. I thought he was dead. He went after... 
He went after Ben and they got ambushed by walkers. Hey, it's Christmas! Kenny and Sarita have been staying with us for several weeks. Used to be a ski lodge, obviously, so we have plenty of food. And uh, believe it or not, we still get some power from that wind turbine out front. We tend to keep most of the lights off at night to avoid drawing attention. But after we found this stuff in storage, we couldn't resist making an exception. What's funny? Oh, nothing, Walt. Walter here's one smart some bitch. Makes All a mean bitch. can of beans, too. Well, why don't you two catch up while I get some dinner started? Please, make yourselves at home. You can leave your things over there. The hell we will. Yeah, I'm holding on to my rifle. Thanks. You're our guest here. There's no need to worry. Tell him to put his gun down, then. Kenny? Will you vouch for these people, Clem? If you tell me they're good, then I'm... Good. Us. You were the one waving a gun around, man. We're cool. I don't trust that guy. Okay? Hey, hey, we're cool. I trust him without cool. a gun. Clementine? They're cool. You, dude. Dad, look! A Christmas tree! Not now, Sarah. Isn't it great? We found it all in storage. It's amazing. Is she the new Sasha? Did Clemmy, did Kenny find a new chick? Good. If you'll all follow me, I'll show you where you can sleep. Nice. <clears throat> this is nice. Still wearing this dirty old thing, huh? <laughs> you know, I half expected to see Lee walk up next to you. You guys were like two peas in a pod. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to... It's just hard not to think about it, you know? He doesn't know about Lee. He saved me. I knew it. I knew he would. That guy had a fire in him, sure as shit. Mm -hmm. Hell. Lee and I had our differences, that's for sure. But when my son, well, Duck. he took care of him. I'll never forget that. So, where'd you end up? I was with Krista and Omid. Omid, well, Krista and I were together for a while, but these guys caught us. She's gone. Sounds like it ain't been easy for you. I'm sorry, darling. I wish I could have found you sooner. But everything's gonna be fine now. Where have you been? Yeah. Oh, hell. All over after Savannah. How did you get out of there? For oh. some reason, I tried to save that fucking shitbird, Ben. I told you it was Ben. Then it turned into a damn cluster. Couldn't help the kid. But I got out. Long story short, I got lucky. Real lucky. Spent a long time alone after that. It, uh... And then I met Sarita, thank God. Gosh, it's great to have you back. You two catching up? Clem, this is my girl, Sarita. Ain't she beautiful? Yes, she nice is. to meet you, Clementine. Hey, Walt, where's Matthew? He's still out there rooting around? Of course he is. Well, I'll start dinner. Carlos, right? Mind if I steal your daughter for a secret mission? Stay in sight, sweetie. 
Can we do anything to help? Could use a hand outside. We got a lot of supplies to bring in before that storm hits. Sure. Clem, why don't you help Walt with dinner? That'll work. Hey, Clementine. Settling in well enough? Yeah, thanks. Excellent. Want to help me prepare a little dinner? I don't know how to cook, dude. So how do you know Kenny? He and Sarita have been a huge help. Matthew and I barely knew what to do around here the first week. But Kenny, well, he never slows down. It's a long story. Yeah. It really is. Connecting with people is so important. I don't know what I'd do without Matthew. Gosh, you remind me of my students. I can't imagine what it's like growing up in the middle of all this. He was a teacher? It hasn't been easy. I can imagine. It's hard enough as an adult. Mmm. Almost done. Would you do me the honor of tasting the first course, madam? What is it? What is this? Le Walter Surprise. An autumnal legume salad with a peach roux. It's peaches and beans. That's all we got. Huh. Huh. Just French it Striking up resemblance. Anyway, I'll take it from here. Look around the lodge. Why do they keep saying that I look like her? Okay, all this stuff doesn't look that... What is this? Cousin Jared's concert. October 13th, 1998. Just put it in there. Put it in the CD. Nice. Let's talk to the new Sasha. Christmas is Clem, we could use some help. Here, Sarah, you take this and string them up over there. You knew Kenny before. It must be incredible to see him again. When I met him, well, he's so different now. But you must be so glad. So, how'd you meet Kenny? I found him holed up in an old restaurant, if you can believe it. Oh yeah? Hold up. You should have seen his beard then. Perfect. Now we just need the topper. We always had an angel on top of our tree. My family didn't celebrate Christmas, but I still love the decorations. I don't think there's anybody out there, but I think I saw somebody it's upstairs. Crazy. Why would they follow us this far? Can't be sure. It's been a week, man. We gotta be out of the woods. We can't be sure. They might be tracking us. Tracking? Who do you think they are? Ninjas? Clem, Luke said you saw some people in the valley. People? Way down there. How? She's got binoculars, genius. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what did you see, Clementine? I saw lights. Which way did they go? Back into the woods. We cannot take any chances. We leave at dawn. But we're safe here for tonight, right? Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? You didn't tell him anything about us, did you? We have to be careful. They could be hiding something. We mostly talked about Kenny. Kenny is the loud man with the beard? Yeah. He's my boy! Him. Look, I don't care what that man said. We're staying here tonight. Just talk to the rest of them. They trust you. See what you can find out. I'm gonna go find Luke. Honey, I don't feel so good. 
Beck, what's wrong? I just need something to drink. You got it. I'll be right back. Oh, there we go. An angel. Boop. She looks so cool. Beautiful. Uh, I used to love this time of year. Me too. My you favorite know, time. Now that your friends are here, this place is starting to feel like a real home. Matthew and Walter are amazing people. Honestly, it's dangerous to be this kind, but they can't help it. Wait until you meet Matthew. He's a real character. The first time he met me, he called me Rita. So I call him Maddie now. When is Matthew coming back? He should be back soon. Clem, I wanted to ask you, does Kenny seem different to you? I didn't know him before, and, well, I'm curious. He has good days and bad days, like everyone else. I haven't noticed. Same thing. Oh. Well, let me know if you do. Well, you three have been busy. Kenny, isn't it great? I got it, huh? I think I can manage, Ken. I said I got it. Same Always has to play the gentleman. But I'll tell you, when I met him, he couldn't lift a fly. Why don't you go see if your friends are ready for dinner, Clementine? But I'm supposed to be talking to you guys because you guys are evil. Hello. You ready for dinner? Are you okay? Just got a little dizzy. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I mean, how can anyone now? Everything's so fucked up. I think it's possible. How do you know? Is she the child? Well, I'm still here. I know it's gonna be hard. But at the same time, I already feel a little less lonely. Because I know that no matter what happens, I'll get to meet someone new. She's kicking. Wanna listen? That food smells good, huh? It's okay. We're gonna get you something soon. Can I? I'll do it. She's gonna be a runner. What's wrong? It's not his. Whose is it then? Carver. It's Carver. If Alvin finds out, he'll kill me. I don't know what to do. I can't believe I'm asking a little girl for advice. But I guess nothing's weird anymore. He won't kill you. There's my man. You all right, baby? I'm fine, you big dope. I just need to get some food in you. Thanks for staying with her, Clem. Well, everyone, dinner is served. Come on, let's eat. I guess it's good food. You okay, man? Yeah, just... I wish I hadn't pulled that trigger. Just try to forget about it. Right here, Clem! Are they gonna make me choose? Well, there's five of them and three of them. I'm sorry, dude. Here you go, Clem. So, Clem, we were just talking. What's the deal with the kid? And what's his name? Luke? He in charge? You trust him? Kenny, please. Sarita, we don't know these folks. They seem nice. Yeah, well, gators seem nice, too, till they bite your damn arm off. Kenny! I like him. He's a good guy. 
Would you trust him with your life? I think so. I trust him. That guy, Big Al, he said they were on the run. Some people are after them. Well, you don't have to worry about that no more. They'll go tomorrow and you can stay here. Absolutely. Honey, you stay with us as long as you want. She's staying for good. If that's what she wants. Of course she does. Right, Clem? I didn't say anything. I didn't know what to say. He's the bigger guy. Bigger man. Hey there. Hey. Hope you like the food. Oh, it's... it's great. Thank you. Peaches and beans. Great for nutrition. Not too great on the way out, though, I tell ya. <laughs> so, it's Luke <laughs> and Nick. Luke and Nick. You guys sure do look like a match. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying you look like good friends, that's all. So, what was your plan here? Hold out for the winter? Actually, we were thinking of moving on. Somewhere up north. You ever heard of a place called Wellington? Wellington? The hell is that? A place. What kind of place? A good one, Einstein. Okay, yeah. settle down. Krista and I were going there. McKinney. Supposed to be a big camp up near Michigan. Michigan? You got a hearing problem, kid? Yeah, Michigan. Think about it. Fresh water, lots of land, and cold-ass winter so the walkers get slow. Sounds like bullshit. Listen, Vanilla Ice, I don't know what your <laughs> deal is, but you're more than welcome to take off in the morning. That'd be just fine by me. What's the deal with these guys, Clem? Hey, fuck you, buddy. It's fine, Nick. We're not staying. She's staying. What? <laughs> Excuse me? You heard me. Please, don't fight. Gentlemen, please. There's no need for this. Now look, we've all had a long day. Please eat. Pass me that can, duck. <gasps> duck? Who's duck? Leave him alone, Luke. Hey, Clementine, would you uh, lend me a hand outside for a moment? <clears throat> Dad Smith, oh, I'm sorry, Kenny. Wow. Uh, I'm sorry about that. You know, I used to be a teacher, and I remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of two clicks. I suspect they'll find common ground soon enough. It may take a little time, but that's just how these things work. Everything will be fine. I hope. Listen, relationships are like any machine. You don't throw them out when they break down. You get your hands dirty, and you grease the wheels. What do you say? Will you help me work on them? I want to stay with you and Kenny. Then stay you shall. I know that'll please Kenny. I missed him. And yes, he missed you, I can assure you. I get this feeling like a... They say the world is over. But I'll tell you a secret. It's not. That People are more political now than they ever were before. In the end, we can't change the world. All we can do is continue to learn from each other, to empathize and use our heads. All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. Steinbeck, have you read him? I have not. Well, we have plenty of time to catch you up on your reading. My partner Matthew is amassing quite the literature collection. I think you'll like him. Where is he? In, in any case, dark. the point is, as long as we have our wits about us, we can always make the right choice. Right? It's never that easy. It's just being a realist. What's the matter, Clementine? Is there something you want to tell me? You can talk to me, Clem. There's almost nothing you could tell me that would surprise me. I can promise you that. It's nothing. Forget it. Hey, kids. What are you two talking about? 
What's up, dude? Oh, politics. The hell? Well, being from Florida, I would imagine you know all about politics, Kenny. Man, I know one advantage of living in the apocalypse is not dealing with that shit no more. I was just gonna check the windows round back before this storm hits. Give us a hand? Sure. Well, let's do this. Who's that? Miss? She's from 400! I forgot her name, but she's from 400! Please, do you have any food? Are you okay? I saw the house and I have a family. We're starving. We live down there. Uh, uh, of course. Why don't you come in, Miss... Bonnie. Bonnie! Walt, I don't know. You just gonna let her in like that? It's fine, Kenny. We don't know this girl. Then we'll have to get to know her. Right, Clem? Walt. How much damage can this poor woman do? Check her for weapons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Really, but that storm will be on us soon, and I gotta get back to my family. I'll bring something out to you, then. You don't have to do that. No, no, it's fine. What about your people? We've got plenty. You stay put. I'll be right back. Real nice guy. Kindness kills. I have a little girl like you. No, you don't. How old are you, sweetie? I... I don't know. Should we trust her, guys? Here you are, miss. This is too much. Don't mention it. I don't know how to thank you. Just help someone else down the line. Thank you so much. I'll be going now. You stay safe. You too. That's a lot of food. Clem, go on inside and get to bed. Walt and I gotta talk for a second. Uh oh. Someone's about to get slapped. Clementine, don't freak out. What? What? Listen, okay, I gotta tell you something. That guy on the bridge was Walter's friend. Uh oh. See, I knew something was off, so I asked Sarita about their friend. Now they're all worried he's not back yet. What are we gonna do? <clears throat> Godly. I don't know. I don't think Walter knows yet. So we have to keep this quiet. I mean, who knows what the hell he'd do if he found out. We should tell him. We should. He's gonna ask who did it. And you're gonna tell him. It's the right thing to do. It's right to get Nick killed because that's what's gonna happen. Now, do you, uh, you still have that knife? Because if it was Matthews and Walter sees it, he's going to put two and two together. It's with the other weapons. Uh-oh. Okay, well, go get rid of it. I'll find Walter and run interference. Oh, and, uh, keep an eye out for Nick. I'm right here. What's up? Dude. Oh, uh, there's nothing. Man, I just wanted to check and see if you're okay. You coming to tuck me in? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We have, to, like we have to tell him! We have to tell you something. Hey, if there's something going on... I want to know. No, just go back to bed, Nick. I'm serious. Show him. You guys can talk to me. You messed up. That's what happened. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. God damn it. Hey, Nick, shut the fuck up. I can't, man. I can't. Do not fucking blow it. Blow it? It's over. I have to tell him, Luke. What? No, you can hey, Nick. You can't. They're gonna do that. find You're out. Fucking nuts. I gotta. I can't live with that on me. Okay, I hear you, but f I mean, fuck, man. Do you know what he's gonna do? You don't know he'll do anything. Well, are you kidding me, Nick? You shot his friend. Either way is risky. That's right. Exactly. Jesus, I can't handle this. Look, Clem, just go do that thing. All right. He needs to tell him. It's gone.
Oh my god.